Hey, Mo. Hey, Ricky. The doctor is in. Yes, we are. We got the doctors are in. I mean, this this is a jam packed show, and it's going to cover something that's so interesting and enlightening and enriching, and something that I hope people can attend. You know, sometimes we sometimes we have a show, and it's like oh, right before the thing starts, or we're we're broadcasting live from something. But this is an event that you can attend. This is something right. that you can do. Yeah. This is something fun for you for your summer. So we are talking about being live in the vineyard. We're talking about the sisters. We got Dr. Cordai Dakota, my SP, my sore posse. Hey, honey. Uh -huh. and, um, and, and we're having an amazing event in Martha's Vineyard. So I'm going to stop talking because this is y'all show. And I just, I want to hear all about it. Dr. D, so how you doing? I am doing great. I love, you know, I love being on this show. Rusty love always to love. my girl. So Ricky, glad you're because, here. Thank you because you know I'm a survivor as well. Three years at this point, and I'm just elated to be able to have this event. I'm elated. That's the best word I can give you. I feel good. Word. It's it's black girl magic at its best. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. So. Yes. so I guess Dr. D called me, but gosh, it was like maybe like three months ago, two months ago and said, let's, um, let's all go to the vineyard and do a thing. I'm like, okay. You know, so <laughs> I'm going to call a bunch of really cool, brilliant, you know, badass black women and get us together. And we're going to do a health and wellness seminar. And so we said, okay. And, um, you know, you know, all of us are up at the vineyard, all the, you know, bougie black people, I have to say it. <laughs> but, but, but it's a great brain trust of amazing black women that could benefit from this really good health conversation and, and about health and wellness. And, you know, we all are dealing with all kinds of issues, whether it's stress and, and, and the vineyard is the place to go de-stress. So I think we should like introduce everybody that's here. And we actually have, we have seven women that are going to be at the event on um, August 9th. August 10th. I'm sorry. I, I said, I know it's coming to say it wrong. August 10th. <laughs> well, we said, let's bring everybody together now and, and just hang out and talk about what we're going to do. So you can buy tickets and come talk to us there and really have this conversation that's going to be full of information and, um, and full of love and, and Richmond and just sister, sister, girlfriend love, like we have on the show. Right. So that's how we're here. So you want to introduce everybody, go around and introduce everybody. You guys introduce yourselves and tell us, who, you know, who you are and then sort of get into the conversation. So Dr. Beckford. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for having me on this wonderful show. We are super excited to go up to the vineyard and to spread all the love. So I'm Dr. Tamar Beckford. I'm an ER doctor by training. I am the CEO of Your Curing Docs, where I help organizations to reduce their stress and burnout in their employees through self-care workshop. So it's all about the self-care. And we're going to be talking about stress management because we know, like we said, we hold on to a lot of stress as women. And self-care is something that we often think is related to just nails and hair, but we know it's way more than that. So when we get to the vineyard, we're going to really dive down, me and some of our other lovely sisters here are going to dive down into really what self-care is, how to reduce your stress, because we know stress is related to health. So we're looking forward to laying it all out there. That is great. You know, I really believe that stress caused my breast cancer. It really, mm -hmm. and I think that's such a thing, you know, um, but I can't wait to hear more about that. Mm -hmm. Definitely a common theme. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. I'm Yvette Robinson. I'm also super excited uh, to be a part of this. I am a CEO and founder of Seven Sisters Entertainment. Uh, I do event planning and promotions and artist management. Uh, I will be bringing violinist Brie Black. You'll, you'll meet her a little later to the uh to this event but i'm so excited to have the opportunity to work with such amazing badass women to bring this necessary information to to all the wonderful women who will be on martha's vineyard during the month of august right and brie we are so excited to like meet you and like hear your beautiful music 
I am super excited to meet you all and hear all the great conversations. But yes, it's going to be a great time. Can't wait to meet you all. It's going to be a nice time. And you're a violinist. What do you do? I, I have been playing violin for 18 years. And oh. I will be, yes, I will be performing. Right. So we know music is health. So that's going to be great, music right? Is music is health. <laughs> It yeah, is absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, right, so I, I, I got to ask the question, Ricky. Can I let me just say, because we're, we're wearing these, if you haven't seen it, you, you're seeing this recurring <laughs> theme of like these black, this black dog, right? Like, why the vineyard? What does the vineyard mean to us? And why are we having it there? Right. So for me, the vineyard just me is a place where I go for some peace and tranquility and just to absorb a whole bunch of positive energy from a whole bunch of positive black men, women, and families. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. I, I started going there for entertainment purposes, bringing musicians and um, doing entertainment. I teamed up with uh, Cordai initially, and she had this great idea. Let's bring this health, empowerment, and education. So now not only do we get the opportunity to bring some entertainment, but also some uh, necessary uh, life-changing and life-saving information to the people, all those wonderful people who will be there. That's great. That's great. Do we know how many people like go to the vineyard? Like during these two weeks, like if you think about it, those those two weeks in August is like packed with people, right? Yeah, thousands of people who go, thousands, thousands. Um, particularly because of uh, uh, the, the week that we're going to be going of the August 10th, there are the HBO Film Festival, the HBO Comedy Fest, there are colleges like Hampton has a week. Um, some of the other Ivy League leagues, like Dartmouth might be the week after, am I right? Yeah, Dartmouth is the week after. Right. Some, some of the Dartmouth. Ivy Leagues for, for Black um, people who want Ivy Leagues to have their things. And then the following week is because, you know, Monique and I belong to the best sorority in the world, the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And we have the Pinkwell, which is where um, AKAs and all other Greeks and non-Greeks but it's basically in celebration of um, Black womanhood and the first sorority, and we descend on the Inkwell Beach. So because of events like that, there's a white party, Jack and Jill has an event. It's insane mm -hmm. where you see the links, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you're seeing Black excellence at its best um, mm. from you know around the region coming to descend in Martha's Vineyard. Wow. And everybody's sort of waiting for those, the Obama sighting during that week. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I just is, looked is it that up. what made this like took kicked it to the stratosphere? Is that is that what did it? You know, I think so. But I mean, I think they've yeah. been there for a while. But I do think that that did kick it off when they started going. But I mean, you know, I know families that have been going there since the fifties. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Same house, my friend Glenn and Diane Scotland. Their parents, their parents actually lived lived there full time, and then. You know, took their kids up when they were young, and then they end up staying there full time until they died. And um, so there's a there's a rich, rich history, history. Of black people on the vineyard. My friend, I have a good friend, Valerie Mosley, and she lives in the house where Martin Luther King used to go for respite. Mm. So, um, so I think yes. it's just, and and it's all action packed in a couple of weeks. I mean, I guess people are there all summer, but but I think we're going to be there at the height of it, and we hope people will come out and have this awesome conversation with us, right? Yeah. So, Absolutely. Because according to the Martha Vineyard's time, it says that during the summer, you can have between 17,000 up to over 100,000 people. On this little island. On this little island. On this little island. Yeah. This for the summer. Island. So yeah, it's really hard to get to. Like you can't, you know, <laughs> so hard. You can't to. just decide to drive up yeah. and go. You definitely. <laughs> you have to you plan. To plan. You got to plan. Plan is necessary. Yeah, got to yeah. plan. So, so you guys, so. I think we're going to have a great audience. What do you think we're going to talk about that day? Like, can you give like just a little tease of what you're going to, what we're going to talk about? Okay. Okay. Got Dr. D. So let, let me first say, this is a brainchild. That I, I like to say, I was telling one of our speakers, Kyara Harris, who's a good friend of mine. She's a wellness coach for Keys to the Abundant Life. Um, and I told her, sometimes I just had these dreams and I'm like, hmm. like a kid when you would daydream and and want to do something, but now I'm an adult, so can I execute <laughs> it? 
And I also know the power of numbers. And I understand that everybody has their strengths in what they do. So with Yvette and I were connected, she's like the brainchild and she's very understated. Like, oh, I didn't know, tell you I knew this one. I didn't tell, I'm like, no, you didn't tell me. And here I am, right? Yvette, you're laughing, but it's true. And then I'll come at Yvette and I'll be like, I want this, 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 and I can do this. We want this and I see this. And she looks at me and goes, okay. And um, I wanted something where women of all types, even though it is focused on women of color, but not exclusionary, to come and hear, um, to come and hear, to come and sit, to come and sistership, to come and hug, to come and laugh and be educated. Many times we're discounted when it comes to medical care. Many times we're fraught with um, frustration when we are in higher ranks of our jobs. We start escalating up the ladder and we get employee burnout, as you'll hear Dr. Tamara Beckford Lee, who's also uh, my cousin. Um, Lewis, I believe. I'm so sorry. She's also my cousin. And just mental health is a big thing. You know, Black women, we want to take on the weight of the world sometimes. And the stereotype that, you know, we're a strong Black woman. But where's the space for us to be pink? Where's the space for us to just unwrap all those layers? Where's the space for us to say, Usa? And also, it's wonderful when you can have physicians, medical professionals, and speakers, and artists who look like you to educate you, to entertain you, and to make you go, mm hmm And I said, I knew exactly who to pick. The speakers are, um, I guess also myself, um, speaking both as a breast cancer advocate, public speaker for the Talks with Dr. D, my advocacy, and also as a podiatrist. I have some few, you know, foot tips for the summer. Um, we have Ricky, obviously, Fairley, who's the CEO of the Touch the Black Breast Cancer Alliance, which I think is fabulous, hence we're on the show. We have um, Dr. Tamara Lewis, who is an ER physician, CEO of UR Caring Docs, and talks about employee burnout with the number one bestseller on Amazon. We have Dr. Janet Taylor, who is a psychiatrist for Good Morning America. We have Dr. Renee. Dr. Renee has been on Oprah. She's everywhere. I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> and um, she's also on Black Doctor Org with a plethora of information on allergies and, um, and asthma and written a few books. Complimenting her is Dr. Ann Maitland, who's one of the top allergist immunologists, I think in the country mm -hmm. and works for one of the institutes in Salt Lake City. That's just beyond fabulous. We have Kyra Harris, who is the CEO and a wellness coach for Keys to Abundant Life, talking about living your best life. How does food heal the body? How does food make your mood better? Mm -hmm. um, so these are women that are dynamic and obviously uh, Yvette Robinson, who is our event planner, our coordinator, um, the fierce leader <laughs> with the lovely Brie Black, who is going to be a Black violinist. Like, come on, ladies, we are going to be in a zone of just being cute, dressed up, and on an island which has a rich history of Black people moving and thriving through difficult times till today. Mm -hmm. Well, Boy. that doesn't sell tickets. I don't know what will. Right. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Now, let me, we'll, we'll cut that out and make a little commercial out of your video. There you go. <laughs> I love the fact that it sounds like all of these topics are not just um, relevant and geared toward women who have had a breast cancer diagnosis, right? Like, it sounds like there's something for everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's way bigger than breast cancer, I think. You know? Way bigger. It, it, this wasn't, I mean, we have, I have my advocacy, there's a million advocacies. We have, of course, you guys, but we wanted it to be something that women could go there and say, I learned this, 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 and had a great time. I mm -hmm. networked. I was with these wonderful women who look like me and we had a ball. It's a safe space. And girl, you should come back at the food. Like we're having a catered um, event because, you know, it's for those who've never been to the island. It's horrible <laughs> during those two weeks when you're trying to get food and don't have necessarily um, a reservation. So we're having a catered um, buffet by a local chef. And I mean, what what else can we do by having such a fabulous event and food after where we can fellowship and chat and network and have a great time? Yeah. I think we're, you know, we have something for everything and we are covering all the bases and, and um, we're also making it so you can take a day trip up. So if mm -hmm. you don't have a house at the vineyard, and I thought this was just an ingenious idea. And I guess you've been doing this, the AKs have been doing this with the Pinkwell Day, right? 
But if you're in the New York or New Jersey area, you can get there. You can do a day trip on our bus to the vineyard and mm -hmm. go up in the morning and come back that night. So you don't have to worry about a place to stay or, or you know, accommodations because we will have everything right there for you. Right. Now that is genius. Let me ask about that because I know that that has been a barrier for a lot of people who kind of hedge and they, you know, decide last minute they want to go and can't find a place to stay. And, you know, you, it books out well in advance. So right. how, are, are there seats left on the bus? Can people still do it? Yvette, you want to take that one? We have limited seat, seating left on the bus. Um, I would suggest if anybody's interested in going to kind of uh, do it immediately. Like, yeah, I'm going to put the link in the sorry. chat right now. I'm going to put the yeah. um, link in the chat right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And 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 just a short version of the link, it's Eventbrite. We're selling our tickets through Eventbrite. Just search for Sisters on the Vineyard, and it'll give you all the information, including the link to go to for uh, bus reservations. Right, I am going to put that in the I chat. I think that that's huge. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be huge, right? Just and also the the fun of like riding up together and like yeah, that's another money. part of sisterhood and fellowship and enjoying looking at the sceneries and getting to know each other. You know, before you get on the island, you can get to know each other, someone who you didn't know from before, bring a friend, um, have a great experience. So you're having a great experience. You're being edutain i think that's the newest word right edutainment yes. <laughs> i like it yes okay yes <laughs> so i think that it's going to be a wonderful um wonderful time and so you know for those of you guys out there if you want to join us you know we are looking forward to just really providing great time great information and great fellowship and food because <laughs> you know that we can't take black people brown people you know what i wouldn't even stereotype you can't take women anywhere we're like so what's about the food so what's about the food and again Eventually having a day trip, you know <laughs> having a day trip um for those who are coming on the bus obviously carry some you know some wares on the bus but everybody coming how how would we have that many people find a place to eat so that was like we're in the portuguese american club which is fabulous well known on the island Let's have, let's have a catered event and let's have food and be able to still enjoy ourselves chit-chatting and getting to know each other better in a social environment. A lot of times, sometimes people think, oh, this is just going to be, I'm listening to something. I am a physician and I absolutely hate being lectured to. It bores me. I tune out. To cousin, you know, I think you get it. You're laughing. Dr. Gary, you're laughing because you know, we sometimes we're in things we're like, rah, 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 rah. Mm -hmm. this is going to be like, right? Like, Right. Especially exactly. if you're trying to relax and you on vacation, you know, okay. because Somebody's coming it's, it's, it's right. boring. It's, so we're doing fireside chats like mm -hmm. girl. And like I've done one before for um, Rutgers University for um, my good friend, Carlina Alexander, who's DEI for H Human Resources for the United Nations. And we had a ball. They didn't think it was going to work out. And they asked us to do it again because it was like two girlfriends talking like, girl, let's yeah. talk about. You know, in my yeah. case, Ricky and I will talk about breast cancer and survival. But right. I mean, there's so many cool things that are going to be discussed, but it's mm -hmm. not just a talk. We want to hear from you and you mm -hmm. and you, right. your experiences, your thoughts. What happens when you're at a job and you're not getting promoted? What happens when you're giving 110 and everyone around you is getting perks and you're not? What happens when you're diagnosed with breast cancer? What mm -hmm. happens when, you know, I just can't do it anymore. I'm having a mental break. I'm tired. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm suffering with postpartum. I'm stressed out at work where I'm crying every day. What mm -hmm. happens when you're like, girl, I done gained these 40 pounds and I need to lose it. And what's a better way to eat? So mm -hmm. we're regular people just like anybody else. And Absolutely. we're just trying to bring our resources and our expertise to empower. And what's a new word? Edutain. Edutain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, and we're looking forward also just to being with each other too. You know, I think that that, you know, just, you know, just to meet all each other as the speakers, like we'll have a great, you know, great girls fest that will just extend into the audience, you know. Once and, and since each of us have like a little bit of information, like I don't have info that you have. So we're all going to be leaving like leveled up, right? Right. Because exactly. Is, yeah. Giving right. out their best info. Right. Right. And then Mo just put in the comments, it's been a tough year for all of us, you know, Absolutely. coming out of COVID. And, yeah. I, you know, 
all the gun violence we're dealing with in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, watch the news this morning, right? Yeah. Attack what against about our, our own bodies, our, our bodily our autonomy. Bodies, yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court then gave us trust court. about affirmative action. Supreme Court, and then we're going into this election cycle again, you know, like yes. it's going to come into play and like, you know, gosh, we need a minute. We need a break, not only mm -hmm. from lives, but just what we live in, you know, and to go to this little haven on this island is going to be awesome, you know, yeah, so right. it's like a great four hour dose of love and oh, care yes. information. So what's um, What's going in the toolkit? Because I imagine you're going to give people virtual tools. Maybe you give them some physical giveaways and things too. I don't know. But but what are some of the things that people can expect to, to take away from this? Because they're going to get fed while they're there, right? Physically, spiritually, yeah. emotionally. They're going to get fed with sisterhood. But what goes in the toolkit for when they leave? So they're going to come in and, you know, Yvette, again, always low key cracks me up, but we have a, I'm always teasing her. We have a swag bag for when you come. One of the things in the swag bag is that we're going to have a journal and it's going to have information and a short bio of each of the speakers and how to find us and a QR code because we're high tech for our, you know, tech savvy uh -huh. sisters. Um, you know, so it'll be great that you'll be able to be able to write and, you know, information and jot notes, exchange information with others. We also are getting sponsors and I'll let Yvette talk to you a little bit more about the sponsors because I'm super excited. So I'm going to pass that over to Yvette. One of them is going into the okay. swag bag, but go ahead, Yvette. Yes. Our first um, sponsor that we have for products is uh, Black Girl Sunscreen. So they've sent us some, uh, some some samples rather to put into the swag bag and it's awesome sunscreen made just for melanated skin it will not leave you with that whitish bluey hue and it's amazing we used some uh yesterday when we were just in yeah while we were in the vineyard goes on very nicely like lotion and it protects you from from uh uv rays so that's one and we also have martinetti companies who's a, a distributor of Moet Hennessy and other products at the Portuguese American Club. They came forward and they also sponsored us. So we are still looking for sponsors at this time. Uh, with our sponsorships, we will be uh, bringing some women from New York and New Jersey who may not be able to financially afford to come. So we are inviting uh, at least five women to join us on the bus mm -hmm. from New Jersey uh, in West Orange or Harlem, New York, and we'll bring them up, we'll take care of them, we'll feed them, and they will be able to enjoy all, everything that we've been talking about, the sisterhood, the love, the information, the edutainment, all of the above. So mm -hmm. we, and at, let me mention one more time, we're still looking for sponsors. So if you're interested in sponsoring, you know, just give one of us a call. Well, and we're gonna, we're gonna provide bands for everybody from Touch. And um, and um, and touch. We'll we'll commit to sponsoring one woman to go. So, awesome. Thank you. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, but, and, um, and what's what's the cost? Since we're talking about sponsorship, if someone were to sponsor someone, what would that look like? That. So our sponsorship levels uh, begin at one thousand um, dollars. And we do have um, a list of all the levels, $1,000 all the way up to um, whatever your heart's desire. Of course, any type of sponsorship is more than welcome because not every uh, company that may want to be represented and, and we will put every, all their, our sponsors in, a, in our program booklet, but they, you know, they may not be able to donate $1,000 uh, as a sponsorship. But anything, especially products, some companies just like Black Girls Sunscreen, um, were a, they were able to sponsor with products. And those will also be going into our little swag bags uh, that we are giving our guests. Right. If somebody wanted to pay for a person to go on the bus, what would that cost? So for a person to go on the bus, uh, that would cost $305. Okay. And that includes uh, round trip transportation. That includes the symposium, and that includes the dinner at the end mm -hmm. of you know awesome. after the symposium. You said three hundred and five dollars. Three hundred five dollars yeah. to oh, sponsor that's, that's one wonderful. person. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm a sponsor. I'll sponsor a breastie uh, as well. So put yeah. me down for awesome. one. 
Awesome. Got you. Yep. We got Thank two you. breasties coming. Yeah, if you're a breastie and you want to go, yeah. put your info in the um in the comments. Okay. See so what we can do. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I just think it'll be like something really different. And and mm -hmm. uh, and also for the people who are on the vineyard who are there for the week, they're all, everybody's looking for something to do next, right? Mm -hmm. So that's so I think we're going to be like the item of that day of what to do, right? Absolutely. I, I mean, think about it. If HBO got the memo about, you know, Black people being on the vineyard, then shouldn't we have the memo for ourselves? And I'm all about integration and participation right. and motivation and sponsorship. I think it's amazing. But I also believe that Black women, we take care of ourselves quite well sometimes, but not ourselves sometimes. So yes. I will go and make sure my sister's good. I my, am I my sister's keeper? But what about myself? Did I eat today? Am I working mm -hmm. out? Did I pray? Um, if I have a therapist, maybe I'm stressed out. Maybe I'm looking for a new job. Maybe there's so many stresses around me that I don't feel like there's an outlet for mm -hmm. me to discuss it. Maybe I need a little push to see women who are doing the thing to push me to say, I'm going to do that idea that I've been sitting on for the last five, eight, 10 years, because I see them doing it simply I can as well. So to me, and it's multi-generational. Um, actually, mm -hmm. my cousin, obviously you see Dr. Tamara Beckford Lewis is a speaker. She's flying in from Houston with my aunt and my mom. I don't know who's more excited. I think it's our mothers <laughs> our, because our no, mothers. it's yeah, our mothers, right? right? And so when you have two West Indian women together, they're gonna have a ball, okay? And they know, like my mom knows when she's excited. And for people she hasn't met in person, she can't make, wait to meet Ricky. She knows Janet. She can't wait to meet Shakira. She's known forever. She's looking forward to meeting um, Dr. Renee, who's my sorority sister as well. So it's fun, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's, I know women from all ages. We have a group here in New Jersey called Femmes Noir Medical. Shout out to them which is a collective of Black female professionals in Northern Jersey and Central Jersey. So, I mean, we have some women coming from that. We have sorority sisters coming. Shout out to the, the D9, you know, for all the beautiful sororities of Alpha Kappa Alpha, Delta Sigma Theta, Zeta Phi Beta, and Sigma Gamma Rho Sororities Incorporated. So that's amazing. And we got everyday sisters, everyday folks who are like, this is really amazing. Mm -hmm. And the fact that sometimes I know the vineyard can be expensive, Sometimes you may have your own vacation plans already and you don't want to spend a week or can't find somewhere to stay. That's why when um, my, my dear friend and sorority sister, Dr. Tanya England, who offers a day trip for the Pinkwell, came up with this idea. I said, absolutely. We want to make sure that sisters from all walks of lives are able to come to this if they choose and truly enjoy themselves. Right? Absolutely. And you know, when we really think about... I. I think about um, like the vineyard when we, I remember in the nineties, what was that um, movie, the Inkwell, right? And Inkwell. there's so <laughs> many, yes, there's so many um, people who hear the vineyard and then they think this is out of reach for me. This is out of touch for me. I would not be able to do this. It would be nice. But then to find out that there is an option that's available, that's an all-inclusive essential option for you to experience. For some people, this might be a once in a lifetime. Right. For some people, you know, this might be just the start, like Dr. Um, Dakota says, to opening up um possibilities of additional things that they can do. So to just know that this is an option that's available. Um, you know, it's uh, it's there. You can ask a friend, come with a friend, make a friend, make connections, because it's more than just what we're doing there. Because once you get there, you can network, meet people, get inspired um, to do so much more. So it's more than just sisters there talking and edutaining. I right. think you can leave out absolutely um, being inspired, networking, and this might be just a platform to take you to the next level within your life, you know, whatever goals right. that you might have. Right. Dr. T, I'd like, I love that you said that because I think that we sometimes feel like networking is, is more work right? Mm -hmm. More work than, than, than the net. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and, and you feel like you got to be on all the time. And, and this mm -hmm. to me, what, you know, if I'm watching this and I am watching this program as we're doing it, these are down to earth folks. 
right? Yeah. These are salt of the earth people yeah. who are, are making it happen in, in their everyday yeah. walks of life and coming to just share and fellowship with you. And that to me is sometimes the best type of networking because Absolutely. you don't have Absolutely. to feel like you got to be on and have that business card in hand and be, you know, ready to jump on the opportunity. Like you are the opportunity and, yeah. and just your presence is an opportunity for somebody maybe to get something in return from you or to be blessed by you. You know, it's not always about the people that you're going to meet. It's about the person that you are being the person that somebody else is going to meet. Yes. Right. right. And I, I, everybody you're has in something. sports and comfortable and like hanging out, you know, you could have in your bikini, you're making friends, which is great. You know, I think. We, I, think I will say one thing. We are going to have, just because we know we know our sisters like to look cute. I don't care if they're coming in with a wrap around with their bikini to I'm right. coming in my cute summer dress. We are going to offer um, a raffle for the best dress. And the best dress uh -oh. is not going to be voted on by us. It's going to be voted on by you. And we'll tell you more about that. No more details than that until you get to the island. But <laughs> I know my sisters like to look good. I don't care if they're coming in with the diva flip-flops, a hat, and the sarong or right. the summer dress of the year. I know my sisters like to look good. That's what we do. That's right. what we do. <laughs> ah. Interesting, interesting. So like, yeah. So we have fashion, <laughs> fellowship, food. Yeah, um, exactly. Fan, fan girls, because we're all fan girls of each other. <laughs> so, we are. You know what? And you were saying earlier, like, you know, we're all not eating well. We all don't take our own advice. You know, mm -hmm. I yes. every day, you know, your peace is non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. you, I'm like, my hair's on fire, right? <laughs> like today, I, I can't really remember if I ate today, like right now. Like sitting down. And, and this is just being honest, right? I ate a little bit yeah. of food like maybe an hour ago. Like we don't do, we don't live what we preach. Mm -hmm. So if we're, not doing, true. If we're not doing and we're doing this for the good of everybody's health. What are regular people doing? Everybody else doing right? Everybody else like, I know Mo. Did you eat today? Well, you know, I, I'm I like the main man up here. I, I, I tell you, Ricky, you know, you're, you're absolutely right, you know, and, and I'm sitting here trying to think that I eat today. <laughs> so, right, so let me ask the question then. I'm going to ask it of all of you, just like I put in the chat. What is your goal? What are, What's one of your goals for this summer? What are you, what are you bringing with you and what are you leaving there? Ooh, round robin. I'll go first. Um, create a space where women want to be around women. Sometimes we, we, we hear about the mean girl complex and we're all guilty. There's sometimes girl, I don't like what she got. Girl, she spoke to me. She looked at me wrong. And you know, we're all guilty of it. Anybody here who is it, that's a lie. We've all done it. But I want a space where I learn something from my sisters. And that doesn't just mean the speakers as Dr. Gary said, she's absolutely right. I'm gonna meet you ladies and I'm gonna be inspired for what you fill into my emotional well by being there. And simply of who you are and what you do. And I want to hear your stories. And I want you to come mm -hmm. up to me. I'm very friendly. Most of everybody knows that. I'm I'm your mistress of ceremonies for the event. So clearly, um, I want to hear your stories and say hello. Say hi to my mom. She loves that. She's going to have a ball. And my auntie, too, because they're going to feel like, oh, they talk to me. So please, <laughs> please mm -hmm. do. But I want it to be something that we set a standard that Martha's Vineyard is in the new hotspot. Doesn't matter what, how much you make, doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter if you're Greek, doesn't matter if you're a link, doesn't matter if you're in school, doesn't matter if you didn't go to school, that there's an opportunity for you to be there simply because you're a woman and trying to edutain, which is my favorite word now, each other and yourself. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, go ahead, Yvette, you're going to go next. <laughs> no, I was actually just thinking that I think she said it all, but with all of that, having a safe space where we can talk about things where we may not feel comfortable speaking to our sister or our, our bestie, um, but creating a space where we can talk about some of those things and at the same time get some expert advice on how to manage it and get some uh, support as we go forward in managing that because it's um, sometimes it's a, little, it's a little scary just addressing some of the issues that we may have in secret 
So having that safe space and having these um, women that look like us and who knows, you know, they know exactly what they're talking about and we can trust that is gonna be important, I, I think for everyone. That's so great. You know, that's what we try to create here on the show, you know, because, you know, as Mo says, uh, you know, her words are, you know, the secrets that we're, that we're keeping from each other are killing us, killing our families. Yeah. So if we can create an opportunity to just have more conversations and feel comfortable talking about health and wellness and whatever with our sisters, then hopefully we can bring that home to our families as well, because, you know, I, I'm, I met this family last week at the SHARE conference, this woman, she was um, stage three triple negative. She was doing okay, but she didn't learn until she, when she was sick that both her mother and her mother's two sisters had TNBC. And oh, wow. they tell her, they didn't tell each other. Unbelievable. They didn't tell each didn't other, tell right? Each other. Oh, wow. Yeah. And finally she brought it out in all of them, but they didn't even know about it with each other. Isn't that crazy? And so, so we know that, and, and that's for breast cancer, but it's same, the same thing is happening with diabetes and kidneys and all the black, the black illnesses that we have, you know, mm -hmm. they're not talking. And so if we can make people feel comfortable, just talking about what's going on with mm -hmm. their life. You know, so, and, will there be time in the program for that, for people to share and to, you know, kind of talk about their experiences or is there a, a, a Facebook group or anything like that, or a place where people can, uh, can connect with each other either in advance or maybe afterwards? I'll take that one. I'm sure we can create something for people to connect after. And, you know, this is another good reason I like that we were invited to the show to get a feedback for what may be important. I would say mm -hmm. after, I think before we're, we're moving and grooving and trying to get ready for all of you lovely ladies, but after definitely. Um, besides time, dinner time. I'm sorry? Dinner time, you know, that's a great dinner time. Dinner time is a way to connect, but even having something, which I hope everyone stays for dinner. Because to me, I feel like, it's so, it's, it, we're going to have our information. We're giving mm -hmm. you something in your swag bag that has each and everybody's speakers information to contact us. And we do respond. Don't think because someone's a doctor that they're not going to respond to you. They absolutely oh, no. are. But I want to be able to sit at dinner with some good, I don't know, chicken and some <laughs> sides and something to drink and really just have a good time and say, girl, you know, that's, a, that's like the back signal for every woman. When you hear girl. You know, it's a good story or girl, you must, you have to sit down for that one. And <laughs> you don't have to explain yourself. You just know that, it, am, I, am I lying? It, 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 oh, we yeah. had an event on um, Dr. Gary's farm. And I remember we had a private room for the survivors. And I said, girl, and literally everybody started laughing because it was a universal <laughs> cry. Of, they knew, they knew what something. was coming. And you know what's coming and you get it. And I don't have to explain myself to you, mm -hmm. which is a comfort in and of itself. I don't need to explain myself I don't need to justify myself. I don't need to make myself feel bigger than I am to mm -hmm. command it because I'm around all my sisters. I'm around mm -hmm. women who right. get it. And you know what? I want to throw that because Bree's been quite a quiet, but Bree, you're the millennial, right? Or our generation Z. Which one Which one are you, you you're claiming? <laughs> I am a, I'm a millennial. <laughs> so having right. a millennial perspective, I would love to hear what you think yeah. about all this because the old generation, yeah. the generation Xers are, you know, reacting. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to touch on with what I'm looking forward to about the event is I think as a young woman who's growing and learning, there are questions I don't know to ask yet. So mm. to hear all of these points of views, I'm looking forward to just learning more information and things that I need to look out for in the future. My mom was a nurse, so she was always the person that I went to for health advice. So I'm looking forward to just being surrounded by sisterhood and women who will inspire me to, you know, do great with my health and just learn. And to also bring my healing with my music. Yes, too. absolutely. Yes, I'm superpowers. excited about that. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Hear I love it. Breathe. I know I don't have anything set up. My violin is electric. I would have to like set up my my speaker and do a couple of things. But I do have an Instagram. If people want to check me out before they get to the island, it's Bree Black and it's B R I B L V like violin C K. You can find me on there, YouTube, and yeah. Okay. Spell it one more time, Bree. I'm gonna put. Okay, it's B R I. 
B L V like violin. C K. I got you. I put it in the chat. Right. I put that. I put that in um, our comments. So if you want to check her out on Instagram, I love that. Yeah. And, and Brie, let me let me ask you, what does self care look like for you? Have you figured those things out yet? Because I know it's a work in progress for all of us. And sometimes I look at my, my niece. She's uh, twenty seven. And she has a, she is like learning these things faster than I, than we ever did in our generation. And she's like, nope, that doesn't work for me, but I tried this. I'm going to take my self-care day. And like, she is just on yeah. it. And I, I'm yes. so proud, right? Yes. To see the, the next generation not make the same mistakes and mistakes. just power through the way we yeah. did. So what do you do yeah, for self-care? Because the musicians always bringing and giving and sharing and you yes. create the mood. So tell us about self-care for you or what you um, hope so to develop. I'm big on self care. I think this generation, we're, you know, starting to do therapy more and just yeah. like, you know, self care, taking care of ourselves. So um, I'm an outdoor person. So I love hiking. I also do these baths for myself that has like flowers and Epsom salt essential oils. Um, I get massages and the spa. I think the spa is like, when it's when I really just need that that break, I go to the spa. So those are some things that I do. I love, I love it. it. Well, I love, I love it. You know, I had an interesting conversation with Haley a week ago, Mel. My, you know, my daughter who mm -hmm. basically is my boss now, right? <laughs> Party. Um, but um, so we, you know, we have a four day work week. Um, mm. so we don't work on Mondays, and it was really started because. Emily and Haley decided they did this whole analysis of how millennials are more productive in a four day work week. And they work mm -hmm. like dogs on the other, on those four days, but Mondays are sacred. And so mm -hmm. I tried really hard not to call them on Mondays, but it's so hard. It's so, you yeah, know, so hard. <laughs> I work every day, but whatever. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm with my passion. So, so I guess I called Haley on, on Monday about something work. And she's like, Mom, you don't call Emily. You don't call Christine. You only call me now. Are you calling as my mother? Or are you calling? <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. And so I had to hang up the phone. And you know what's really hard is it's hard not to judge because of our right. work ethic and what's been ingrained in us. I see it in yes. the physician community as well. Absolutely. You know, we're like titans. We eat our young and we're like, well, we work yes. 100 hours a week. What are you complaining right, right, about your right. 64? You know, yes. like nobody should be working 80 hour work weeks, period. Right. But we love to 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 look down our nose yeah. at the younger generation. So mm -hmm. talk to me about that, about the generations that I are going to be there at the vineyard. Because is it just young people or yeah. is it folks of all generations? Mm. everybody everybody comes to the vineyard I mean that's and that's what I love about it too is that there are generational families taking vacation so, mm -hmm. so you go with grandma and the auntie and the mom of the dead you know you go with three generations to rent a house and you're all there together which is part of the I think the the joy of it right you know, last time I went I had everybody in ballet and heart and you know all you know both of my kids everybody, the whole family was there and so I think that we hope to get that at our event that we hope to see some mamas and daughters we encourage mamas and daughters to come you know so you want to have conversations like i did last week you know? <laughs> <laughs> i think that and you know what you said was amazing about mm -hmm. generations because you do want i mean you know in, in dr gary is completely right you know, residency, you were taught, especially if you do a surgical specialty, you were taught to show no fear. I remember having an IV in my hand, my arm, and I was um, I, I was sick to my stomach and I still was rounding with, with poor nurses looking at me like, poor child, you know? But I'm like, mm -hmm. I, can't, I have to finish. I, you know, we want to do kidney stone, all kind of craziness. And what I admire about the millennials is that they're saying, no, no what is no. enough enough? When no. do we take a pause? No, when are you not going to run me ragged? that I don't Absolutely. think generation X, I, I think that we're slowly learning. And, you know, as we get older, like, yeah, we really probably should have slowed down and what have you, but mm -hmm. they're looking at it. Their perspective is completely different than ours. And our yeah. parents' generation for mine, my mom is in her seventies. And even that generation of, you know, a lot of immigrants in our case, my, my mother from Trinidad and Tobago, my aunt, um, to my, Dr. Beckford um, Lewis's mother from Jamaica about what their experience was migrating from, you know, my mom went from Eng from Trinidad to England, to Canada, to the U.S. That's a major disruption and leaving her home that she knew at 17. 
and being able to make it and make it well where her children, she produced a doctor, her and my father, a doctor and a lawyer. But to at what extent did they have to run themselves ragged? At what extent Absolutely. did they have time for their self-care? So mm -hmm. that's why I think it's amazing if you can bring your mom or your grandma to be like, come and hang out and let them just enjoy the fruits of the labor and really take time to hear the stories that they can mm -hmm. see that maybe it's not just with them and their children, but other people's families as well. And, you know, I wanted to add that um, we're actually in a unique um, time period where there are actually five generations that are yes. alive at this time, you know, five generations. And when we look at it, a lot of time, when do we have time to gather in five generations? Unfortunately, it's usually when what? Either there's death. As opposed to, so why not be able to do this in a celebration versus just having to celebrate someone who's lost? We can right. do it when you can have time with families and do, as we just mentioned, what Dr. Gary was saying, talk about these things, not have these hidden health information because it's, uh, you know, I'm the older and so therefore I don't pass this on to the younger. This is grown folks information. No, this is health information that is familial and that we all need and it's going to save lives. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Everybody so needs. fellowship, you know, connect to connect with their, the grand aunts and the aunts and the cousins all connect together and be able to really learn from each other because I love always connecting with people who are older because I'm like, that's where the wealth of info is. I don't know about you. <laughs> wisdom. The wisdom. That's right? where the wisdom is. Exactly so, right. Yes, indeed. And then yeah, also learning also, from the younger ones because they, they got that self-care thing figured out. <laughs> I know. I think they have wisdom about self-care because they're thinking about it differently. And I think that Absolutely. we, you know, I never thought about having a four-day work week when I was you know, I was 30 years old, right? Or anything close to that. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we were brought up in this this era of grind, 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 grind right? So you're, and, and how many of our friends are we seeing now retiring and then dying? Retiring, yeah. like getting Absolutely. breast cancer, retiring, like, you know, they have no time once they retire to even enjoy mm -hmm. their lives because they work so hard. So I love yeah. the formula that our millennials are choosing, you know, like, we're doing it in the moment. And, um, and I think that's part of our message, even with when we, with, um, for the love of my girls is make self-care part of your health. Mm -hmm. Like, so like make, like checking your breast part of your self-care routine, make, make that's part of your daily routine. Just wellness is part of how you think about care, how you take care of your bodies and how you know your bodies and mentally, physically, whatever. To do and take better care and maybe you'll you'll take better care and live longer than we will because we abused our bodies right mm -hmm. They're doing and, and adam not know it. <laughs> and, and i see in our facebook chat we have a massage therapist who's going to be there as well magic hands okay. <laughs> you see put your link in the chat for us because people need to know she said yes i am she will be in the building and there may be an opportunity for you to one connect with her but two mm -hmm. to even to get a massage right are there going to be some folks on hand who are going to be doing any makeovers are they going to be uh doc dr dakota there's a word on the street about a foot scrub i had heard coming out it's on delay um at the moment because we had what my um, partner had um, some personal things she had to take care of. But there is a foot scrub coming out. At the event, we're going to have a pop-up shop. So the speakers, particularly, who have their wares, whether it be a book or a product, will be having that. Now, we know that Miss Cece is um, coming to the event. Um, I would never ask her to bring her table. Maybe she might offer a hand massage or some tips. But we'll have that conversation. I know Cece's probably smiling at me offline. Mm -hmm. um, chair massage, like absolutely. I love that. I love that. Shoulders, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yes, that's where all the tension is, right? <laughs> and then yeah. we have this newest thing with their, I don't know if you guys saw it, it's called like the, 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 um, like the cell phone neck where like everyone's head is down and, uh, you know, so we're all having that neck problems. Right. Because yeah. the head is heavy. <laughs> and so we're adding we call the surgical neck, Dr. Gary, because I know every time I go for massage, I'm and then CC, you've massaged me. I'm fed up of all you masseurs telling me, oh my God, 
you're so tight in your neck and shoulders. I'm like, because I'm doing right? this. This thing. When it's I look this. at the foot, it's this. I'm in the right? 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 operating room. I'm this. Right. <laughs> it's this thing right That's here, looking easy. down. It's the thumbs. It's our hands in this position, all sore and achy. And mm. it's it's the carpal tunnel. But yeah, and we wear it in our shoulders. I know I sometimes I have to catch myself and push my shoulders back yes. down. You know, Absolutely. but even just learning to breathe and learning how to breathe properly, I think right. is such an important thing. And mm -hmm. to be able to go and breathe that good air and just, you know, breathe in all that love and that good energy is so, oh, yeah. it's going to be so soul enriching and soul filling, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like we said, even just breathing, and that's the other thing too. And some of what I often um, tell people is, when it comes to like self-care and stress management, it doesn't have to be something that you have to plan like months and months in advance, learning some techniques that you can do in the now yes. that you can put in your toolbox, like Dr. Gary says, like what's in that toolbox? I can pull out when I need it. You know, breathing exercises are just some power, right? <laughs> Ladies, right? Powerful yeah. tools. So powerful. Yeah, reduces your stress, reduces the heart rate, you know, break that fight or flight response that we're naturally in. Because if you really think when we keep talking about is this stress, we're like pushing our cortisol constantly. Like we don't need right. to be under all the stress all the time. Like we are not running away from that saber tooth tiger. Like, you know, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call I don't care what you call tiger? your boss. You are not running away from that saber two tiger. <laughs> <laughs> tiger behind me, right? I love that. And so we need to learn it. to break that and just, you know, go into that rest period and break that sympathetic chain. And these are some techniques and, you know, people who are around you who can just teach you these powerful, small but powerful techniques that you can use throughout your day, throughout your day. So that don't I take a lot of time that don't take a lot of, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, right. So somebody run down this agenda for me, because if you just join us, we are talking about Sisters on the Vineyard, and mm -hmm. it is not to be missed. There are now sponsorship opportunities for you to either sponsor or be sponsored. There's wow. going to be swag. There's going to be food. There's going to be entertainment by Brie Black playing her electric violin. We're so excited. Okay. But give us the rundown of the day. It's going to start at this time and kind of what we got going on for the I'll day so it. people can, yeah, go for it. So my lovely sister, this event is going to be on Martha's Vineyard, Thursday, August 10th. If you're coming on the bus, you will, the times will be, you'll get the information from Dr. Um, Tanya, who will let you know what time you have to meet. I'm not sure if it says it in, in the thing, so correct me if I'm wrong, Yvette, but it will let you know what time you're supposed to report for the bus. So my yes. bus sisters will be sleeping probably and then getting up as I'm sure that music comes on. Everybody starts doing a little two step on the bus and having food and sister shipping with each other. Um, for those, um, you'll arrive at uh, Woods Hole. Usually that's the spot that everybody takes the ferry. There's only two ways to get onto the island. It's either the ferry or for those who might be flying in. And we do have some people doing that. Um, once you get onto the island, if you're coming by, regardless if you come by, the day transportation, um, if you make it for that time, but the day transportation will definitely have a trolley shuttle that will take them to the Portuguese American Club. For those coming on their own, you get on the island the way you get on the island, you get there accordingly. But there's Ubers, there's Lyfts, there's everything to help with that. Um, we're starting at one and ending at four for the actual quote unquote event. And you're going to come in, you're going to be serenaded by Brie Black, you're going to get a swag bag, you're going to sit down, you're going to look at your sister and say, hey, go ahead. And, <laughs> and um, introductions will be done by uh, Yvette Robinson and then me, Dr. D. You will be your mistress of ceremonies for our fireside chat, interactive chats and what have you. Maybe even breakout session. This will not be boring because we don't do boring, especially when we're boring. in vacation mode. And then we'll have a chance between four and five for people just to chit chat, to shop at our pop-up shop and ask questions to our speakers and to each other. And then we'll go into the fabulous dinner that'll be buffet style that we'll be having at the Portuguese American Club. So you don't have anywhere to go. You sit back and relax and you enjoy. And then those going on the day trip, the trolley will come and pick you ladies up. 
bring you back to the ferry to get onto the other side in which the bus will be willing to take you back to the location at the State Building in Harlem and at the uh, Whole Foods Kmart Center in West Orange, New Jersey. So I think it's going to be a day of fabulosity, for lack of a better word. It's going to yes. be a day of sistership. It's going to be a day of fun, two-step, being cute, all of the above. While what's the word? Edutainment. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited. So I I put I tried to put the flyer into the comments and I couldn't. So I put our link to our Facebook post about it. So you okay. can uh, check out the flyer and then the links to buy tickets are are in here. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited to go. And let me just say, it's a, if you're watching, it's a good opportunity to follow these folks on Instagram, follow them on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, um, on Spill, whatever people are on. I don't know if y'all know about that Spill yet, but um, there are <laughs> platforms where you can follow folks because they're going to be dropping pearls. They're going to be giving tips. They're going to be connecting with you so that by the time you meet them, it might not be the first time you've met them. And it'll be a great opportunity for you to bring your talent, bring your treasures, bring your open mind, um, and 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 bring your bring your open heart because this is going to be something that's going to fill up everybody's soul. So if you are going to be in the vineyard, you got to stop by. But if you are looking to come to the vineyard, even just for the day, they even have a day bus, a day trip. So it's for you. I make it easier, make it painless, and make it fun. That's right. Absolutely. It's your season. Exactly. You know, I want sisters. That's what, that's my hope for the summer. That sisters will come out of that event and come away from the the vineyard feeling like it's still my season. Like I still yeah. can make it happen. Twenty twenty three not over yet. You know, I might not have lost them ten pounds or fifteen pounds. I might not have reached that financial goal. I might not have a lot of things, but it's still my season, no matter what. You know, with mm -hmm. the Supreme Court or anybody else says. Right. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, a, and, and a reset, right? So like you said, it's still your season. It's a reset. And that's yeah. one of the things I think a lot of times we try, we throw away because we didn't get to the point or the goal that we wanted to at a certain time. Mm -hmm. But there's always, a, that was yesterday. Today, we're going to start again. It's a reset. It's a chance to to start brand new, but even with more information. Yeah. So you didn't yeah. know it then, but when you leave out, you're going to know it now. And you're going to have some friends and some yeah. connections to help you get there. Yeah, that's right. Wow. This is going to be great. This is yeah. be awesome. And we'll, we got to start planning the next one. I mean, I think we need one of these every season, Russell. We'll figure <laughs> <out>. <laughs> Then it, you know what? Then we're the traveling group. We go from Martha's Vineyard in the summer, the fall. Right. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we'll figure out where we go in the winter time, right? <laughs> well, and maybe a sister's on the vine, and that it ends at the vineyard, but it's all along the vine. Go on the road all with the it. Vine. So. There you go. Love, love it. it. I love that. Love it. Love, love it. it. Love it. I love yeah. it. Oh wow! Well, we hope it's been relatable and reliable and real. Um, how can people follow you? Do we want to go around? Yeah, oh, we, I see. Put their stuff. Yeah, people have put their stuff in the in the comments. But say, go ahead and say. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah. So I am Dr. Tamara Beckford, as you mentioned. I am very, very active on LinkedIn. So you can really just go ahead, Tamara Beckford, MD, or once you put the Tamara Beckford, you see my face, just click connect with me. I'd love to really connect with any of you guys out there and see how we can continue to help each other. I love it. Great. Great, great, great. 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 Well, we got Bree's Instagram, right? Yeah, Bree is at um on Instagram yeah. at. You Sorry, there, I, couldn't, I couldn't get my mic off, but oh, okay. uh, <laughs> um, I can be found on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube at Bree Black. It's B R I B L V C K, and you can see me up there playing violin, doing what I love. Awesome, love it. Then. And I am Seven Sisters Entertainment on Instagram and Facebook. Seven the number? I'll type it in here. No, seven, seven um, spelled out. Seven okay. Sisters Entertainment. Thank you, Ricky. Okay, got you. Thank Love you. It. And you yeah. can find me, Fox with Dr. D, Dr. Cordai Decoto. I'm a breast cancer mm -hmm. survivor. I'm an advocate. I'm a public speaker. 
I'm a board certified podiatrist who does surgery. So I'll be throwing a few foot tips out there. Get those two feet mm-hmm. right for the vineyard. And if you haven't had them right, I'm going to help you get them right. And also <laughs> talking about the journey of survival, survivorship and what empowerment is because mm-hmm. of it. And you can find me on all social media at Talks for Dr. D. Yep. Got it. Boom. Well, there it is. Wow. We hope it's been relatable and reliable and real, right, Ricky? That's what we do right. here. Yep. That's what we do every week. Every Wednesday. And we'll, have a great, we'll have a great report after. We should do like a regroup show after the fact. So we'll plan. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. That. Maybe do a little Instagram um, live and recap. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be awesome. That'd be All great. Right. I'm down. <laughs> Yeah, Thank you for it. joining us. Thank you so much. Be yes, blessed. Thank you for coming up with this great idea. And we will see you all next Wednesday on The Doctor Is In right here on blackdoctor.org, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you, Black Doctor. Thank you, Amgen, for supporting us. Yep. Thank Rest you, Amgen. Love. There Rest it is. Love. Rest you love. <laughs> love to everyone. Have a great night. You too. Good night. Bye. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Thank you. Thank you.